my channel and welcome back to another episode in my WW Instant Pot series. You guys have got to check out the two recipes that I made in this video. They were both so incredibly delicious. We have a pasta dish and we have a Mexican dish and they both were to die for. So if you have an Instant Pot and you just want some tips, tricks, ideas, recipes, for your Instant Pot, then you, my friends, have come to the right place. So if you wanna see what I have on the menu for this series of the Instant Pot recipes, all you have to do is keep watching. For tonight's Instant Pot dinner, we're going to be making Instant Pot Bolognese. I'm really excited about this. I did make a slight modification for the meat only because I was out of the extra lean ground beef, but you don't even know the difference. So let me show you what's in tonight's dinner. So the substitution that I made was I'm going to be using 99% fat free ground turkey versus 96.4 ground beef only because I'm out. So this will actually be zero smart points. So it'll lower the points of our dish as well. You're also going to need a big, huge can of crushed tomatoes. As you know, Hunts is my very favorite. I'm going to be using Fiber Gourmet Light Spaghetti. Half the smart points of regular spaghetti, you guys. Two ounces, three smart points, versus six smart points for two ounces. You can't tell the difference. My husband actually prefers this pasta over regular pasta. You can buy this on netrition.com. There is a link down in the description box Click that, it takes you directly to the website and have so much fun browsing. There's so many great WW products. Make sure you grab some fiber gourmet pasta. We're also going to need some red cooking wine, fat-free half and half, salt and pepper, butter light, I'm gonna be using I Can't Believe It's Not Butter, garlic, nutmeg, I know that sounds weird, but wait, it's delicious, celery, an onion, and some carrots and the star of the show the instant pot so let's get started on tonight's dinner so the first thing we need to do to get started on tonight's dinner is you can either put them in a food processor or blender or just chop them up i'm just going to finely chop them up but you want three stalks of celery three carrots and an onion and then you're just going to put it in a bowl and we'll set that aside so let's get chopping before we add everything to the instant pot thing that we are going to do is hit the saute button it'll put 30 minutes on our instant pot we definitely won't use all of that time but we are going to go ahead and add in our ground turkey and we're going to cook this down until it is primarily brown once your meat is almost all the way brown there can still be just a little bit of pink we're going to go ahead and add in those veggies that we chopped up or that we pureed down in our food processor. And we're gonna let these cook for five to seven minutes. We want them to kind of sweat out a lot of their color. So then that way they've gotten really softened. And again, just let them sweat out five to seven minutes. Once your veggies have cooked down for just a couple of minutes, go ahead and add in a little bit of salt and pepper. You do wanna kind of stir these throughout the, the sweating process, but we've got about another five minutes or so for our veggies to be done. Once your veggies are starting to be translucent, we're gonna go ahead and add in some garlic. And then this is also where we're gonna be adding in one cup of dry red wine. So I'm using cooking wine. We're gonna go ahead and add that and we're gonna give this a stir and we wanna cook this down until most of our wine is gone, at least half. And as it's cooking, you're still on saute, make sure you're using your spoon to scrape up those delicious browned bits at the bottom of your Instant Pot. That is a huge amount of your flavor. Once your wine is almost completely gone, you've scraped up all that goodness on the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and add in one cup of fat-free half and half. And we're also going to give a couple good shakes of nutmeg as well. And that's just going to add that really delicious flavor to our bolognese. And then we are going to let this cook down until almost all of the cream is gone. 
When your fat-free half and half is almost completely gone, we are gonna add in 128 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. We're gonna give this a nice big stir. We're gonna remove it from the saute function and get it ready to cook. Look at how amazing this is looking. So I've removed it from the saute function. I've actually turned it completely off. So from here, we're gonna hit the manual and we actually want this to cook for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna put it on to 30, pop the lid on and in a flash, I'll be back to show you the completed bolognese. And in the meantime, we are gonna go ahead and just cook our pasta down separately in a saucepan. Next, we're gonna get our pasta going. So we're gonna cook it in a pan here on the stove. And again, I'm using the Fiber Gourmet Light Spaghetti. Once it's cooked, we'll add it into our instant pot as soon as our sauce is done. Once you pop your lid off, look at how delicious this looks. We're gonna be adding in four tablespoons of light butter. We're gonna give that a quick stir and then we're gonna add in our pasta. Once your butter is all melted, this is when we're gonna go ahead and add in our package of Fiber Gourmet. It is a eight ounce package. We're gonna stir that up and then our bolognese is good to go. It is ready to eat. You just wanna get that pasta nice and mixed in with the sauce. If you do need some additional liquid, you can use a little bit of the leftover water from your pasta, but this looks so good. I'm gonna get this nice and mixed together, plate it up, pair it with the veggie, and I'll show you the dinner and give you the smart points. So here is our completed Instant Pot Bolognese. So what I have here is just some veggies with some spray butter, salt, and pepper for zero. And I have one sixth of the bolognese and pasta. This is a lot of food. One sixth of this is only six smart points. You can't beat spaghetti bolognese for six smart points. That includes the little teeny bit of cheese that I have on top. So this entire dinner is only six smart points. Definite must try Instant Pot recipe. For tonight's Instant Pot dinner, we are making beef carnitas, and we're gonna pair that with some refried beans and some vegetables. So let me show you what is in our carnitas. So first I have some steak. I went ahead and just bought stew meat. It cooks faster, so pro tip, buy the meat that's already cut up. It cooks a lot faster, super easy to shred once it's cooked. You'll need some corn tortillas. I would recommend the Mission Extra Thin. I don't have those and I wanted to use these up, so mine will probably be a little more points. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but I'll let you guys know at the end. You'll also need some vegetable broth, some spices, cumin, oregano, pepper, salt, soy sauce, garlic and onion. You can chop up a fresh onion or use minced onion like I am here. And then we're going to pair that with some non-fat refried beans and some mixed vegetables. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and put your steak in a bowl or whatever meat you're using for this recipe. And we are going to add all of our dry ingredients. So first we're gonna put in some garlic. You know if you follow my channel, I do not measure my spices. I just kind of wing it. I love me some garlic. We're also going to add in some cumin. And this is what's gonna give it that Mexican flair. We're also going to add in some oregano and some onion. I'm gonna go ahead and use my minced red onion. I really like red onion in Mexican dishes. And I get questions a lot about where I bought these. These are both from Costco and they're really, really inexpensive, a couple bucks a bottle. And some salt and some ground black pepper. We're gonna give this a big stir, make sure our meat is nice and coated with all of our seasoning. And then we are gonna put this in our Instant Pot and we're gonna get started on dinner. So the prep for this is really quick. It does take a little bit of time to cook in the Instant Pot. So make sure that you give yourself enough time before you're starving uh, to get this dinner nice and cooked up. But look at that meat, how flavorful and seasoned that's gonna be. Next, you're gonna pull out your Instant Pot and you're going to select the saute function. It will automatically put 30 minutes on. You don't necessarily need to saute that long, but that is the default. You are going to spray your Instant Pot with a little bit of non-stick cooking spray. Let this warm up for just a couple of minutes and then we'll add in our meat. Once your Instant Pot is nice and warmed up, 
We're gonna go ahead and add in our steak or whatever meat that you decided to use. You wanna hear that nice sizzle when you add your meat. We are just gonna cook this down for just a few minutes just to get it a little bit browned up. It does not have to be cooked all the way through because it is going to spend a little bit more time in the Instant Pot with the rest of our ingredients. Once your meat starts to brown, we're gonna go ahead and add in one cup of vegetable broth. And we're also going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce and then we're going to set our pressure cooker or instant pot to a manual and we want to allow this to cook for about 60 minutes or 30 minutes I'm sorry on manual so we'll set it for 30 pop your lid on and out will come perfect carnitas just pop the lid off the instant pot you want to manually release all of the pressure look at that meat so what i'm going to do is i'm going to transfer it over to a bowl here and then we'll get it all shredded up and we'll put together our carnitas you want to go ahead and shred up your meat just into smaller pieces we're going to warm up our corn tortillas we're going to top ours with some of this light shredded cheese and then i'm also going to add a little bit of fat free sour cream to mine we are not going to do the refried beans i think this is going to be plenty so i'm going to warm up the corn tortillas put together the carnitas and i'll show you our completed dinner so here are our carnitas i added just a little bit of shredded cheese to the bottom of our shells you can have two shells for two smart points one smart point worth of cheese we have some of the carnita steak that is four smart points so that's seven and then zero for the sour cream because i hardly added any on to my taco so i'll put my veggies on my plate and i'll show you the completed dinner so here is my completed dinner i have two of my tacos that is seven smart points four for the meat one for the cheese two for the tortillas, it makes seven. And then I just have some mixed vegetables with spray butter, salt and pepper for zero. So this is a seven smart point dinner. Thank you for joining me on another episode of my WW Instant Pot series. I hope you enjoyed seeing the two recipes that I shared with you. I'm telling you, you guys, they are delicious. They are absolutely positively must makes. Now, if you're on the fence of getting an Instant Pot, this should push you over because these recipes were so easy, fast. Literally, you have one pot to clean up. It is so nice and easy, especially for those busy weekdays. So again, thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified when I upload. You don't want to miss a single video. Give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you're going to try out these recipes or even if I persuaded you to pick yourself up an Instant Pot. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.